Hey there, this is Yoshi. Uh, today is uh, uh, middle of February. Uh, and time goes by really, really quick nowadays. Uh, anyways, I want to give you a little bit of update on uh, King Gianums and uh, Cymbidiums outside. They're outside. Uh, it still is outside as long as it's over 28 or 27 degrees. Uh, they can take it actually. So, yeah. It's almost, almost all year round outside orchid for my climate. But uh, anyways, um, this one, terrapin flyer. Now I have two of this, two of these because one is for sale. But um, yeah, this one's another one, and this is this one, and uh, giving me this. It's so hard to tell at the beginning if it's a new growth or not. And I can tell you now that it is a spike. Yeah, because it's long at this point. You know, usually the new growth is a little thicker. But yeah, so this one for sale is uh, in spike. This is a warm tolerant once. And all those smaller kinds are typically uh, warm tolerant one that doesn't mean it's gonna take not gonna take cold that doesn't mean you have to put it in the greenhouse if it's cold colder air no it, it just takes cold cool uh, I'm sorry the uh, heat that's all uh, it still likes the cooler air so just uh, remind you that um, this one Valentine love uh, this was my wife's choice well, most of them are, because I don't really, I like cymbidiums nowadays, but uh, usually my wife is the one who's really keen on buying cymbidium. But yeah, so this one has new growth, but this one doesn't. And this one just doesn't do anything for some reason. I don't know. Uh, Black Peter, Captain Midnight. So those are the dark ones. Go figure whose choice it was. Also, nothing. Nothing, nothing. But this is the Golden Road. It's been budding for quite a bit and it has still not opened it. Long time. But this one, I think it's another spike. What do you think? I think it is a spike. Now, this cymbidium i've been wanting to repot it's too big uh the mid middle is all like dying out you know nothing wrong with it it's just uh, you know it's been a while so the, the leaf just die naturally it's nothing wrong with the plant now bloomed one two three so this is gonna be third time uh, no, I cut one off, so it's fourth time, uh, constantly either in spike or in bloom. And now uh, this one is dead. Um, it doesn't want to come off, but um, so I'm kind of uh, missing out on the opportunity for repotting. But yeah, I was thinking maybe after this I'm gonna repot it. And now there i think all spike if you can see one two three coming off and then the way it looks it, i think it's a uh, old spike i mean this is definitely a spike at this point it's not like going fat and just rather you know skinny and then coming off like this this is a spike so one two three four spike and five spike see this is a good example this is a new growth this is a new growth you see the difference where this is how develops the leaves at this stage but this one is not so this is a spike um, and uh, this is crazy so many people are struggling to blooming cymbidium and here it is so what is it six 
and seven I think am I going around or is this uh, still a different side yeah it's still this uh, different side so this will be seventh I think yeah so seven or eight spike something like that see this is a new growth too I need to repot what is this doing <laughs> but anyways this is rather uh seasonal this is how it's supposed to be spiking now and then uh it bloom uh you know in like late march or late april um, i personally found this one in uh, valentine's day many many years ago um, and uh my wife liked the bloom and uh, at the Trader Joe's, uh, like the bloom, and then bought this one. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> what is this? So seven spike, eight spikes, or something? I lost the count, but that's coming out from this. Very exciting. Uh, unfortunately, there's no bloom or anything like that, but uh, yeah. So, that's it for the uh, update here, and uh, uh, here's a King Yanam. Um, I, I have a care club coming, so I don't want to really go in deep for the care and whatnot, but uh, some uh, um, cake is coming out. Now, I don't know how it develops. I didn't have this plant for a long time. I have not watered at all, to be honest with you. Um, our air around this season is so moist so i haven't really watered uh like in the morning today is not but most of the morning it's really misty and when i touch this it's moist all the time today's dry a little bit but um so um and i was rather looking at the leaves whether it's shriveling or whatnot and do something else due to a dehydration but they're not doing that so as the uh, cymbidiums so yeah i have not watered at all for the last maybe two months maybe and of course we have rain all the time so it's under the shed but uh the water must be coming in and here's a species one i keep forgetting this uh it's a summer blooming type from australia i think so yeah nice uh two new growth coming really nicely so yeah so yeah i haven't watered at all and it's still doing fine so just uh if you're if you have any question on watering here's the answer uh, i just let the uh, nature take care of it here in the pacific northwest so i would say way less um watering especially if uh your area around now uh, in the winter season is really humid it's really humid here so anyways uh thank you for watching and uh you guys have a good day